Hey guys, so welcome back. Welcome if you're new and happy Monday. I hope you guys all had a fabulous weekend. I did. Ernie ended up coming home, so yay for me. We're starting off the video by just switching some of the artwork around. I took your guys' advice and I moved it all around and it looks really good. We got the frame. Um, don't look too close at that top right hand corner. It was really hard for me to put it on by myself. So I'm just waiting for Ernie to get home um, to help me snap it. <laughs> I didn't want to break the TV. But we also got another package in the pendants or I'm sorry, the sconces for the library. So I'm going to go ahead and open those and show them to you guys. I was so excited when these came in. I really love them. I got to see them in the space today and oh, they look so good. I cannot wait to get that library finished. They are doing a great job so far and everything is coming together beautifully. But I saw these, I sat, we went to Ferguson, got them at Ferguson and sat online and, um, you know, shopped because we needed sconces that turned on at the source and not a switch. So the only way to, to do that is by um, shopping online with them in the store so that is what we did um, but I fell in love with these when I saw them because they're the perfect color um, and I can always change the lampshades out if I want to which I may here in the future um, I might play with uh, use these for a while because they're beautiful number one but I might play and get myself some fabric lampshades some pleated ones eventually but for now we're going to just play with these because I just think they're gorgeous. I, I love them. So anyways, I was excited to get those. The guys are doing a great job. They are working with all my wonky walls. I know I have a new build, but <laughs> these days they don't build homes like they used to. <laughs> We're going to be uh, cooking together here in just a few minutes. I'm going to show you guys how to make potato tacos. Um, I'm not a huge meat eater. I love a good steak every now and again, a good hamburger. But I literally could be a vegetarian very easily. Um, well, a cheating vegetarian because every once in a while I, I do like to have a steak. But uh, anyways, I'm going to make some potato tacos um, and show you guys how to do that. They're fabulous, especially when you're not feeling like eating something heavy, but you want something really delicious. And that's kind of the reason why I did the potato veggie uh, pie as well, because I'm just not a big meat eater. So um, if I don't have to eat meat during the week, I won't. Um, anyways, a lot of you guys said you were going to try it. I'm wondering if you guys did. If you did, um, let me know in the comments how you liked it. And did you add cheese to the potatoes to make a um a cheesy crust or did you make it the way i did um if you add cheese i'm lactose intolerant so the cheese on top was you know plain it's safe for me um i didn't want to add any i probably should have just to show you just add it to the potatoes press it in place you could also bake the crust by itself first and then add the veggies um, in that and then top it with cheese. I mean, you guys probably figured it all out. Um, if you cook, it's pretty, pretty easy, but it's a delicious vegetarian, I think, light meal to have or a side even. Um, I think it would go fabulous, um, you know, with a steak or, you know, a hamburger or take it to a potluck or what have you. Anyways, I just needed to organize my cleaning closet. It was starting to get pretty crazy, but I'm going to be sharing with you in the next clip how to make those yummy potato tacos and some really good um, salsa as well. I'm making the salsa a little different than I make it um, on a daily basis. This is four tacos, so um, I hope you guys enjoy this recipe as well. Okay, guys, we're going to cook now. Um, we're going to make some potato tacos and a really good salsa. So for the potato tacos, I have the rest of that bag of red and white potatoes washed. And I have them in a pot. I'm going to cook these until they are tender. And this is our salsa. One tomato, one white onion. I have nine tomatillos here and three cloves of garlic. For those of you who don't know what a tomatillo is, this is it. It comes in like a papery little sack. This is how they grow. They're not green tomatoes. They're actually called tomatillos. We're going to use some of these um, chile de arbol. We're going to use about 
I don't know, 11 to 15 of these. These are spicy. Put the tomatillos and all of this until it has a nice char on it on all sides. The tomato may take a little longer. So once you get this charred up and it still maybe feels a little firm, you can wrap it in foil and set it aside for about five minutes and it'll soften up that way. But anyways, we're gonna get this done and then we're gonna move on to the next step. While our salsa uh, ingredients are cooking, we're gonna go ahead and get our cabbage prepared. We're gonna go ahead and shred this up. I have a bowl of vinegar water sitting right here in the sink. After we're done shredding it, we're gonna go ahead and add it to the vinegar water and then we'll rinse it off and it'll be ready. them up. We're going to add some salt, pepper, a little bit of onion powder. I would say about a teaspoon. Same amount of garlic powder and my chicken stock, chicken bouillon, about a tablespoon. We're going to give that a good mix. Give it a taste. Make sure that it tastes good. That's delicious. I have some corn tortillas. I'm going to go ahead and heat these up in the microwave in between two damp paper towels just to get them so that they're flexible. Just like this here, put the paper towel over and put them in the microwave for about 60 seconds. Well, I guess that depends on your microwave. Mine only took 30 seconds. So there's a million ways you could do this. You could fry your tortilla shells um, and have them already made, or you could do it the way I like to do it, which is put your potato mixture in the tortilla. Don't overfill it. And just fold it over, just like that. I have my pan heating up with some avocado oil. We're just going to lay the taco in the oil, just like that. some of that delicious salsa that we made and you can't have potato tacos without sour cream just like I like to have my baked potato with sour cream yes Thank you. 
Get a napkin because I know I'm gonna need it. <laughs> Give it a bite. See how we like it. You know when I dance, it's good. Okay, it's a couple days later. Um, the frame people came and put this up for me so me and Ernie don't have to do it. Uh, it was just too hard because it's so wide. But I also show you that I have my two Robert Ferbers together and they look so good. I don't know where that clip went, but I actually filmed myself hanging that one up there. Um, and it's it disappeared <laughs> so I don't know it looks really good I just want to give you a tour of how I'm living I gotta get rid of this box um it is a hot mess express in here and I'm just stressed out because I can't do anything about any of this <laughs> and this and the legs that we bought and I do want to tell you I mentioned that we spent 300 plus dollars well that was unnecessary uh, you guys are gonna laugh I ordered ordered 18 feet because I needed 18 feet. Well, it turns out that those feet are sold at a set of four. So I ordered 18 sets of feet. Are you kidding me? So we haven't even got through this box and we still have a whole box down there. I'm going to have to return these, but um, I said I wasn't going to give you guys another look, but I just feel like it's just not fair because you guys are so good to me and you just have been following along. But here is the process so far. We've got all of the desks done. They've um, trimmed out to the top up there and still don't have the doors and of course, you know, the final paint. And then behind me, they have started on this wall. So it is coming together. And I know I told you guys I wasn't going to show you anymore, but um, that's it. <laughs> that's all you guys get. I'm just living in squalor right now and it's just not any fun for me to it's not any fun to, uh, who's my burn? It looks bad, but hopefully it'll start to look better in a couple days. I just, I'm gonna put a Band-Aid over it. I'm having a hard time with filming because I can't move in my house right now. <sighs> it's stressing me out, so. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I know it's short. Um, I did get the art moved and I love it. It looks so good. And we got the frame put up and we got that fixed. Um, Cause they had to come. I don't know if you guys remember a few videos ago, I said that our, our frame was on the brink. It did in fact go out. And so Ernie did a, a hard reset on it with the Samsung people over the phone. And then she said, you know what? You guys need a new microchip or something. And so she scheduled that. The Geek Squad came out you know because it's under warranty and Ernie buys all the extra plans and stuff they came out but two days before he came out I was on the phone with Ernie and I said you know what let me give it a try it was working so he came out and Ernie, and Ernie goes you know the TV's working and uh, my wife turned it on a couple days ago and it's working just fine he said you know let me do a diagnostic on it he did see that there was an issue so he goes, you know what, I'm just going to order the part anyways and have it come in and we'll put a new one in and that way you guys are good. So he came today to do that and I had not put the frame on proper. Um, I went to go get my hair done and left him here and left the contractors here. And I came back and he put the frame on for me. So that was really nice. It looks so good, you guys. But I feel like everything just looks sloppy and icky now because, well, I'm in the middle of construction. So anyways, I'll figure out stuff to film for you. It's coming together. I know it's a short video, but I wanted to keep you guys updated on what's happening around here during construction and the progress. I, I said I was gonna hold you guys. I, I wasn't gonna show you it anymore. And then I thought that's really mean. These guys have, are your support system. You know, you guys are um, watching my videos and supporting me and it's just not fair to keep it from you guys. So I figured today would be a good day to share. I shared it on on the community tab and on Instagram I shared a little shot like a little sneak peek you gotta watch my channel to see the big ones but uh, anyways that's it that is for um, that is it for today's video I know it's quick short sweet those potato tacos guys are amazing Ernie will be home in just a couple of hours I'm gonna go ahead and make some for him I saved some leftovers he was so jealous when I told him I made those and I said, don't worry, babe, I've got leftovers for you. So I'm gonna make him some tacos. I'm gonna make some tacos. We're gonna have some dinner. I'm looking forward to all of the decor that we get to do. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you got a little bit of motivation 
some cooking inspiration, some homemaking inspiration, some decor inspiration, whatever it is that I can inspire you to do, I'm happy to do it. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!